What's up guys? Inflatable Guy on 5 here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have another cool review today. We have the 2023 new for this year at Lowe's retailing for about $120. Actually, I think it's $115. Whatever it is, the price is absolutely ridiculous for what it is. Um, how to train your dragons toothless. Now, I think this design is pretty cool. I love the box art, but I did not buy this one for me. I bought this. Here's a backstory behind it. <clears throat> I bought this for my mom. She loves How to Train Your Dragons, and her favorite one is Toothless. She actually just has a little Toothless figure in her room. So I bought this for her, and she was very happy to see it. We're actually joking about like two years ago. Like, oh, what if they made a Toothless inflatable? So I wanted to get it for her as a thank you, and she, she does let me use her yard to decorate stuff with anyway, so... I like getting designs for other people in my house or other people in my area that like stuff like that. So I wanted to get this immediately when I saw it. I had to have it. So, um, you see there's the front of the box. Just says Toothless with his logo. Very nice detailing all the way around. I will say the detailing is very nice. And there's the other dragons. I cannot remember their names. I know there's Light Fury. That's the other one. I have not watched the movie in years, but there's all the other logos for them, so... I think Jemmy might make other ones in the future if this one sells well. I think it will. My store is already sold out on it. And then the bottom, just the rest of the instructions. And the top is at DreamWork Dragons. I don't know why they didn't put How to Train Your Dragons, but... See, I already did open this and test it and show her, but there is the new bag. I will be throwing that out. I'm not keeping that. And then there is the steak pack. Right here. Which it does have, um... I'm not going to open it, but there's mini steaks for the bottom, and then for the tethers, there actually is plastic steaks in this. Because he is pretty big. And there's the safety instructions. So I'm going to inflate him right now. I can get him out of the box. Come on now. There we go. So for $120, that's where everyone is torn on this thing. It's a good design, but $120... That's kind of a lot for what it is, considering it's a cheap fan. Now, I would have liked it better if it was a base fan, but honestly, it still inflates tight. And because it's all black, it does not matter if it's a base fan or a cheap fan. You're not going to see it at night anyway. So he's going to need a spotlight because, you know, black conceives most lighting. So, again, you're not going to see it anyway. So what's the point of complaining about it? I just think the price is ridiculous for it having a base fan. I mean, a cheap fan. This should have no more than a price tag of $80, I think. But, you know, Lowe's is pretty expensive, and this was one of their better designs this year. I mean, I still want to go to Home Depot and get one thing, but, um, yeah, Lowe's and Home Depot are pretty disappointing. Walmart's actually really good. I will be getting stuff from there. So, just inflate this. It does take a little bit to inflate, but it's almost done. Now, it is really big. It's like a nice size, definitely. So if you let it inflate, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, his wings are really big. Like, he's not a small inflatable. He's pretty goodly sized, I will say. So if I stretch him out here and pull him to here. Here we have our giant toothless. Right here. And Nala's here joining me today. Um, here he is. You see, like I said, he is not small by any standard. That's why I said I think $80 would be perfect for this. He's not small. He's not big. He's like a medium size. He's not terrible. He's got three LEDs in them. You can see the pumpkin. There's two in his back. You see he's got these giant wings on him on both sides. And some of the wing actually does inflate these parts right here. Now, now I did want a dragon for a while. Not this one in particular. I did want a dragon. One of the ones with the mouth moving and head or wings. But we are going to go over the detail in this. Now, I'm going to start from the front and make our way to the back. Because there is detailing on the back that you can't even see from the front. We're going to start off with his head. And you see he has his nose, his mouth. Green and black eyes. Nice. Whatever you want to call that detailing. I think it's like horns or something again i haven't watched the movie in a while it's been a long time pieces of his skin and then with his wings they're both identical but these parts right here do inflate this one doesn't this one does this one doesn't this one does 
So a mix with inflatable and just fabric. Uh, and then you go down. You can see he has a pumpkin. Again, you have to put something to make it halloween -y. At least it's not an ugly-looking pumpkin. Just, just a happy jack. His claws right here. There's even claws on the back of his feet. Now we're going to go around here. Like I said, there is detail all the way back here, and they didn't need to do that. You see, down his back, there are his scales all over him, even down to his tail. With this uh, fabric that needs a little bit of bending, but... And then you have his giant long tail that curves around to the front. And this is where the detailing gets cool with his tail. It is detailed like it is in the movie with the real tail on one side and the fake tail on the other. And they use, I think, this new fabric. It's really weird feeling. It feels like styrofoam, kind of like foam. For like a project, a school project like foam. It flattens out a lot better than this stuff does. I like it. It looks good. And it's got detailing of skull, or whatever that is, with horns. Like I said, inflation-wise, it's a 10 out of 10. It inflates pretty good. Very good inflation. Now for the tethers. There is one right here under his wing. I would have wished they would have pulled it back here more. I think it will be a little weird pulling the string through the wing, and I think it's going to move it like this. Maybe it won't do that, I don't know, but I think that's what it's going to do. And the other one's on the other side here. Now for the bottom tethers, there are a couple. You come down here, there is one right here under his foot. His back foot right here, under his back foot. They are hard to miss because it's black on black. And there is one the exact same on the other side. And this is a medium cheap fan. But I'm going to cut the lights and you'll see it at night. What it would look like in the dark. It's not dark in the room, but... There you go. He lights up good. The pumpkin lights up okay, but... I don't know. I don't think you're going to be able to tell what this is. At night, I was going to put a green... If you remember the kaleidoscope I have, the green kaleidoscope, I was going to put that on him. That would look cool just all over the wings and his face and everything. So, this is the first 2023 I bought this year. Besides the Valentine's Day ones, but... I haven't really bought much since the Valentine's Day one, so I figured I'd start buying some stuff. To not just be doing older stuff, I want to get newer stuff. Although, he will not be used this year, he'll be used next year, sadly. I've got one other thing at Lowe's and I want to go back. Now, like I said, it's going, it's going to be classic. The theme this year is retro. I've had the theme idea since December, and a couple other people have decided to do retro as well, which... I don't know. I think there's a reasoning behind that that I believe, but I do not know when this guy will be used. Probably next year, but I might want to go back on clearance and get another one because um, the thing I'm worried about is he's all black, and this is Florida, so I try to stay away from black inflatables like this that's mainly black. Like my train, like during Halloween, I try to stay away from black inflatables. Christmas, it doesn't matter. It gets cold here. But with the hot sun and the heat beaming on it, this thing is going to get dashed, tore up by the sun. He's going to be thinned out within a couple of years, I guarantee. He won't last me long. Because he's all black. Besides that pumpkin, everything else is black. So I might want to get another one before I cannot find them again. If he's not sold out, my store already had two left. So he is selling pretty well. I will say, definitely one of the better designs. There's a couple others there. There's the pirate ship. And there's, like, pirate ghost. I love their spider. If you've seen the spider, it's really good. But, um, I'm going to stop carrying this review on. I'm going to end it here. Here's one last look at Toothless. I do recommend it, but I recommend going in a couple days, five days. Like, the day after Labor Day weekend, they said they're going to have their stuff, like, I think it's either 25 or 45% off. That's when they usually, you know, start clearing out Halloween and making way for Christmas. Because, you know, they have to be months ahead of time. And we're getting to September. The end of September, yeah, they usually start clearing stuff out. So, I've never been there during clearance. So, I might go and get a couple of things in two weeks when I get paid again. I might get some other things that are for sale. But, I gotta save my money. But, I will go there and probably get another one of these guys. Like I said, I will recommend paying like $80 for him. It's fine. $115 if that's the price. 
115, 120, whatever it is. I can't remember at the moment. That is kind of ridiculous for what it is. But I will see you guys in the next review. Later.